What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're getting after it with this Cloud Sire meta team. Now, when I say Cloud Sire meta team, I don't mean that Cloud Sire is a meta Pokemon. Actually, it's the total opposite. This Pokemon is super off meta, but we're pairing it up with a bunch of meta Pokemon, having a nice little meta team with Cloud Sire if that makes sense. But let's talk about Cloud Sire for a little bit. A fun Pokemon with Water Absorb and Leftovers as its item and ability. It's got that Fire Terror type with high horsepower, toxic for poisons, recover, and protect. So it has three ways of getting back HP. One is going to be Leftovers, two is going to be Recover, and three is going to be Water Absorb pairing up with this Kyogre. Now this Kyogre over here has Surf, which can damage opposing Pokemon, but at the same time hit allied Pokemon. So if Cloud Sire is next to it, Water Absorb is going to pop, proc, and then he's going to get some HP back to itself. Kyogre also has a Mystic Water as an item with Water Spout, Origin Pulse, like we already mentioned, Surf, and then last but not least, Protect. Our final four Pokemon on today's team are going to be Tornadus, Serena over here, Archaludon, and Chiyu. Archaludon and Chiyu pick up some big time damage on the special attack inside. Tornadus is going to be great for support. And then last but not least, Serene's over here. Good Pokemon to pair up with Kyogre because it stops first turn priority, which we absolutely love. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Well, without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Cloud Sire. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a Trick Room team, right? They got Lunala, they got Tinglu, furthermore, they got Porygon 2, Ndidi, Mousehold, and last but not least, they have Entei. But something that stands out to me is no weather control on this team, so I can freely lead Kyogre and really just get after it, right? I like this a lot, so I'm going to go Kyogre here, and I honestly might lead Cloud Sire. And I love the name God Sire. <laughs> this thing's awesome. I love this Pokemon. Super slow Pokemon. Can stall some guys out. We can throw some Toxics on the board. We love this all around. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Kyogre. I'm going to go Cloud Sire here. And then in the back end, do we go Archaludon and Chiyu? Chiyu's not going to be bad because it's rather fast Pokemon. We could honestly go Serena over here. This Pokemon's pretty good with Triple Axle and Power Whip. And it has high jump kick, which is super effective onto that mouse hold. That's not bad. And onto that P2. And onto that Ting Lu. This Pokemon's not bad. Do I want to go into it? I think Archaludon's going to be good, especially for a defensive bulk Pokemon. So I'm going to bring Archaludon. But last but not least, it's either Chiyu or Serena over here. Hmm. Let's see you real quick. You got to be like normal Chiyu stuff. Yes, Snarl, Dark Pulse, all that good stuff. I think we should honestly just go Serena over here. I like this thing, especially with the wide lens. High jump kick's gonna hit more. Same thing with triple axle. I feel like we, we gotta go with this stuff right here. All right, let's see who they end up leading here because I am kind of scared of Pop Bomb Mousehold. That could be a little terrifying. Uh, they could go for Follow Me at that point, I, but if they go into like Trick Room users, I think just going into like either Water Spout this turn and then Toxic is probably our play. Just putting poisons onto these guys and kind of slow playing it. And that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going, going to go into bulky Pokemon. So I think we actually just throw a poison onto Lunala here. Because Lunala is going to be the one to pop Trick Room. Right? Lunala is going to be the one to pop Trick Room. I think you want to go for like, I don't even know. We could just go for Water Spout here. Probably in our best interest. You might just go Poison Terror type onto Ting Lu. So yeah, I'm going to go Toxic into Lunala. And I'm just going to throw a Water Spout. Because we know we're faster than these guys right here. So I'm cool with throwing the Toxic out here. I'm cool with throwing the Toxic into Lunala Saw. And yeah, Alex's going to come to Terra, probably from Ting Lu into Poison, so good thing we didn't go for Toxic there, right? Is that Poison Terra type? It is, so good call for us to go into Lunala instead of Ting Lu, even though I kind of want to go into Ting Lu a bit more. Just that thought of Poison Terra type on this Pokemon really, really held me back. So we end up throwing a Water Spout across the board, doing some nice damage onto Ting Lu still. And this thing is going to go for a Calm Mind boost, which is fine because we're throwing a poison on this thing. Hopefully it lands. I feel like I'm going to miss. My RNG has been awful recently. The worst possible. The worst possible uh, RNG as recently. They're going to get a special attack drop. I mean, you probably have Meteor Beam, right? Toxic is going to land, which we absolutely love. And... Do we just have Surf's cross board? I could protect Cloud Sire and kind of play this one slow if I want to. Um, he, he does have leftovers, but Toxic is just going to slowly do some big time damage to him. And Cloud Sire also has leftovers. So you go leftovers, I go leftovers. I don't mind it. High Horsepower can come out here, finish off the Ting Lu, and I think that's going to be in our best interest just to surf. And maybe. Actually, we might just want to swap here and let Poison do its thing. So I could just swap into Arch Loot on here. Especially if you're going to go for a Meteor Beam. 
I don't mind this. I think high horsepower should KO. Right, Cloud Sire? Super effective stab. We go into Serene over here, which isn't a bad play. But you know what? We're just going to go into you. You have a Soul Vest as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go high horsepower into this slot. And we'll save our Kyogre. We shall save our Kyogre. We swap into Arch Ludon in the rain. We have one Toxic out, which is lovely. And he's going to go for another Combine Boost. So slowly but surely, Toxic is just going to start pestering that thing. Which is good news for us. And hopefully Cloud Sire outspeeds, but actually I don't think it does. I'm just gonna go for another Snarl, which is eh. Might wanna swap back into Kai over here. I'm still gonna get rid of this uh This Ting Lu right here. But high horsepower flies through here. It doesn't even pick up the KO. I'm kind of upset with that. I am gonna take some Rocky Humble damage. Maybe I just wanna keep in. Maybe I do wanna keep in what's it called? Maybe I should have kept in Kyogre, but again, we got Poison out here. Um, Combine boosting. Toxic slowly starting to get after it. The next turn is going to actually be a big time turn for us. So from here, I feel like... Hmm. I feel like we should just go for a Jerk of Meteor in this slot. Let's just do as much damage as we can, and then, yeah, just high horsepower to try to finish off you. And maybe recover another turn after that. Let's see. Let's see, it ends up withdrawing you. Okay, so he withdraws. High horsepower is still flying in that slot. And I would love to toxic that next one. But as long as Lunala just keeps taking damage, we should be fine. Lunala is scaring me. Moonguy's beam gonna fly here. Can you soak this Arch Ludon? That's the real question. You can. You're a bulky Pokemon with that vest. We love it. So stamina gives me a nice little defense boost. I wish I went for body press in that slot. We're doing like negative damage because this thing's so bulky. My special attack is dropped significantly, and I'm missing a high horsepower. Lovely, just what I want. To miss a high horsepower, exactly what I want. So I could recover here. I could protect my uh, Cloud Sire. Um, I might just protect my Cloud Sire because we need Toxic to really just start chipping away. Yeah, Toxic's doing some damage now, which we love. We love that damage. So I'm gonna try to go for a Body Press at least. How many turns are left in Rain? Is the real question. Let's check it out. We have two turns left in rain. That's not bad. And I can just throw a body press in this slot. If it lands, that's massive. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, I could recover. I could actually recover here. So if they attack me, they attack me. Then I could just protect the, the next turn to KO the, uh, the Lunala. So I am going to go for a recover here. So he chooses to go for a follow me, which is not a bad play. I kind of hope you go after Cloud Sire here. Instead of... Arch Luna, but you're just gonna choose to go after Arch Luna, which is rather smart. So I recover instead of protecting. I'm gonna go back up to full HP, which is nice. Um, again, Toxic slowly doing damage. We still have two back end Pokemon. I like that. And Ting Lu is rather low on HP. It's in the red, I believe. We get back. He gets back some leftovers. I believe he has one turn left, pretty much, because Toxic is just gonna KO it. And I think just like a double protect is probably our best option, right? And going into Serene over here because I want Rain back. So we have one turn left in Rain. Double Protect definitely going to be our play. That's why I want to recover that last turn instead of Protect so I can Protect this turn. So now we can Double Protect and we can let Lunala die out here. And then I can always go into a high jump kick into that into that Mousehold slot. Which is nice because they already used Terror Type onto Ting Lu. That is huge. That is huge. We love it. We love it, but Cloud Sire is just such a cool Pokemon. I really just want to get like a five foot plush of that thing. Just throw it on my bed. Just a massive Cloud Sire plush. I feel like I, I talk about this every time I use Cloud Sire. It just looks like a Pokemon you want to hug, even though it has like poison spikes on its back, right? Doesn't it have like spikes? I believe spikes come out when it, when it like attacks. We're gonna have to check it out. We're gonna have to check it out. So Protect comes out here. I wonder if they'll show the toxic spikes when this thing protects. No, they didn't show the spikes. I believe when it uses high horsepower, the spikes come out of like the top of its body. Thunder Wave's gonna fly here. We're gonna block it. He's probably going for another Moon Guys Beam. We're gonna block it, and we'll say bye bye to Lunala. Hopefully, bye bye to Lunala. This should this should be enough damage to take out Lunala, right? The rain has stopped. You're gonna get leftovers first. This should be enough. This should be enough. 
Slow play Toxic on this Lunala, it bulked up a bit too much for my liking, and it is enough. So cool, Cloud Sire picking up a KO with Toxic. We love it, we play that one slow. So now I can just high jump kick right into this mouse hold. And if they go into a Pokemon other than Tinglu, then I'm just gonna throw a Toxic onto it. Let's see who it is. It's gonna be P2 and I love what we're sitting with this. So I'm gonna try to poison P2. High jump kick's looking awesome. And then I'm just gonna go for the, the high jump kick into this slot. 90 accuracy, but with wide lens, we should be landing it. And we'll go for Toxic into this bulky Pokemon. Love what we're saying. Clodsire getting after it, match number one. We're not playing around with Clodsire here. We're not playing around today with Clodsire. I love it. I love it. So bulky. It ends up choosing to go for a Thunder Wave. No big deal. We should still outspeed, right? P2 is rather slow. Um, Clodsire might not outspeed. Clodsire is slow as well. But actually, we're not outspeeding. Ice Beam, we should soak this. We do. Can I land this high jump kick, please? Typical. Typical. I'm paralyzed. And I'm going to miss the Toxic. I have a feeling about this. Cool. Clodsire's got my back, man. Clodsire's got my back all day. Clodsire's got my back all day. So we're slowly chipping up with the poisons. You could go for a follow me. You could go for another Thunder Wave. I don't, I don't know. I think I'm, I'm still just going to throw a poison into this mouse hole because you're probably just going to KO him. You're probably just going to KO mouse hole. Or not mouse hole. My Serene with Ice Beam. So I'm just going to throw another poison. Toxic plays one slow. I got Protect on my Pokemon. We'll Protect. We'll let the Toxic do its thing. He's going to withdraw and go into Ting Lu. That's totally fine. And you don't KO my Serene, which is kind of weird, which means I'm just high jump kicking into this thing. Actually, you might outspeed him. Might be going for Pop Bomb. Let's see. There you go. Follow me. So you just die. That's kind of a stupid turn. That's kind of a stupid turn. Because high jump kicks shouldn't level you. Doesn't pick up the KO. Can I land a Toxic? I do. So we got Toxics all on the board. All on the board right now. Massive. So one more turn of Toxic Mouse Hold dies. I could just double protect and let that chip away if I wanted to. But honestly, I'd rather just get rid of Ting Lu here. I could just protect Serene, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect Serene, I'm just gonna go for high horsepower. Actually, we should double down attacking. We should double down attacking, to be honest with you. We should double down attacking. And double down to Ting Lu. If you go for follow me, I'd rather just get rid of it. And you know, you choose to go for a Super Fang, which is actually kind of tough on our, on our end. Third Chop's gonna fly, and that's fine. That is fine, because one, I soaked that. I wasn't expecting to soak that. But Triple Axel will pick up the KO, no problem. Actually, no, it won't, because I died a Rocky Helmet. I died a Rocky Helmet. But no big deal, you didn't go for follow me. High horsepower should connect, should pick up the KO. And then Poison will actually KO the Mouse Hold. And then all that we have left is going to be, uh... What's going on? A Poison Porygon 2. Which I mean my Kyogre outspeeds, so I could just throw a Surf turn 1, get back some water, absorb HP, and just stall out with Clodsire the rest of the game. That's light work. Clodsire dominating in match number 1, throwing Toxics all around. There's another KO. That's, that, that's, what is that? That's actually three KOs for Clodsire. A Toxic to Lunala, a Toxic to, uh, the Mouse Hold. It KO'd the Ting Lu with high horsepower. And now Kyogre's on the field just to help it out a little bit with Surf, get some HP back. And this thing's already toxic. So in about four or five turns, this thing's dead. So if I wanted to just protect Stall, I easily could have done that. But I mean, we have Kyogre on the field. We might as well throw a Surf across the board. We might as well Surf up. Surf, high horsepower. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wonder if they're going to stay on this. I wonder if they're going to stay. He got to cancel, man. You gotta cancel looking Kyogre in the face. Obviously, I could just go for a water spout, make life a bit easier, but this is a Cloud Sire video. It's all about Cloud Sire, so we're gonna water absorb him up. Lovely, give me back some HP. Woo, about 60 HP. And some nice damage. And he goes for a tri attack. We have plenty of HP to soak that now. High horsepower flies. Bop doing a little bit of damage. And then poison going to chip up. And I get back leftovers. Awesome. I feel like a good thing with Clodsire is if you can get it in with like grassy terrain. Just have all those HP recoveries. It's just amazing. I'm just gonna go for high horsepower, another surf, and our opponent ends up canceling the match. Clodsire dominating with Toxic in match number one. Stay hot, Clodsire. Stay hot. We're hopping into match number two. Looking to stay hot with this Clodsire team. Going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex. Tough little customer here. 
hits hard really fast, and they're pairing it up with Tornada. So we have Tornada Summon Run. They also have Clefairy, Chiyu, Urshifu, and Rillaboom. Rillaboom's going to be a bit scary, especially for Kyogre. But I mean, I could bring Serene in to kind of counter that Pokemon really well. Um, who should I honestly do here? Chiyu's not bad with the Focus Ash. Um, could go Tornado Chiyu, which wouldn't be a bad lead. I could set the Rain early on here turn one. That's not too bad, but if I lead you, I gotta lead you. Um, but I kinda wanna lead Tornadus. Do we think they lead Rillaboom? There is a possibility. There is a possibility that you do lead Rillaboom. Hmm. I could go Archer Wood on Kyogre and maybe just swap if need be. I actually like that, especially with the vest. I like the vest. I do like the vest. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go late game Tornadus and I'll go in with Serena over here. I like just the variety of moves it has, especially with like triple axel. Yeah, because triple axel is gonna be super effective on the Tornadus onto the Rillaboom. We have high horsepower, or not high horsepower. We have high jump kick for Chiyu. Can do some big time damage onto that. And then we have power whip to deal with that Urshfu. Because if I had to guess, that's gotta be uh, water Urshfu, right? It's gotta be water Urshfu. And if it's not, high jump kick can do some big time damage onto him. So. I'm about it. I like it. Let's see who they end up bleeding here, though. Shadow Rider, Calyx, Tornadus? Yep. It's going to be Calyx, Tornadus. So, Calyx, Tornadus comes out here. We do end up throwing our Arch Loot out on the field. Um, we could straight up attack. We could go for Bleak Wind Storm if you want to. Um, I think attacking might be in our best interest. Because you might just go for Tailwind. I think we just attack. We could go Grass Terra, but... I think we just launch an Origin Pulse and we double down into you, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am fine with that. So, you could go Tailwind, and then you could just go into a Astro Barrage. That's fine. You're just going to go Astro Barrage, Bleak Wind Storm. Which is fine. I mean, my Pokemon should so. I get a nice lovely Stamina Boost. As long as we land Origin Pulse, which we do, it's massive. And we pick up some big time damage there. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly. It's going to slow us down a tad bit. But I do get rid of Shadow Rider Calyx, which we love. So, Shadow Rider Calyx, get on out of here. We get rid of the scene. And I get a plus one special attack boost. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So they got speed control. Um, if they decide to bring out Robin, we will swap Kyogre. Probably in the screen. And then kind of go from there. But let's see what they end up doing first and foremost. Let's see what they end up doing. So getting rid of Calyrex, that's massive. They're going to go into Chiyu here. Okay, so Chiyu. Probably going to go into a dark type move. Not that big of a deal. Um, I could body press and just look to do some damage. But you might go into a... You might go into a terror type here. Let's be honest here. You might be going into a ghost terror type. So I think in this instance, we might just want to throw a Draco Meteor into the slot. Look to just dump on it. I'm fine with not swapping here. I like our back-end Pokemon with our Chiyu. Actually, did we even bring Chiyu? No, we didn't bring Chiyu. We brought, uh... Brought Tornado Sabron. We get speed late game, which I like. But I like from here, actually, do we swap Kyogre? I'm gonna swap Kyogre. I'm gonna swap Kyogre into Tornadus. No, I swapped Archer Ludon. Oh, man. That's not good. That's not good. That is not good. Not good. I really want to just throw a Draco Meter into Chiyu slot. And Chiyu's just going for Dark Pulse. That really sucks. Origin Pulse. So, okay, you still let me get an Origin Pulse off that. Okay, never mind. Everything works out fine. That was stupid. That was dumb. Why wouldn't you go after my Kyogre? That's why I wanted to swap my Kyogre, but they ended up going after my Tornado slot. I don't I don't know why. Alright, that worked out perfectly then. I would I would have thought you would have went after Kyogre, seeing Origin Pulse absolutely just rip into him. That's fine. So my Arch Ludon was eating that up. We had a Salt Vest. And this game is over with. Easy second match with this team. This team is crazy good. Really strong. We'll go for another Origin Pulse. Luckily, my Origin Pulse is landing today. We'll go for Bleak and Storm. But they're going to cancel the match. So there it is. Nice little sweep in match number two. That second match. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Perfect plays by us. Honestly, they just made a mistake by not going after my Kyogre. But... We still win that one in a sweet fashion, but we're going up against another Shadow Rider Calyx team with Clefairy, Urshfu, Farigraph, Stone, Ogre Pond, and last but not least, they have Tornadus. I kind of want to get out Clodsire here and really get after it, so I am just going to lead Clodsire and Kyogre. I could honestly lead Clodsire and Tornadus. 
or better yet, going to like Cloud Sire and Chiyu. Just to kind of pose a threat to Calyrex, because I do have Snarl, don't I? I do have Snarl, I do, which is good. Yeah, well, that's special attack. But you know what? We're going to go into both of them. Bring Kai Ogre and Arch Ludon in the back end. And look for this perfect record. 2 0, oh, baby. Stay hot, jeans. Stay hot. Look at these Cloud Sire a little bit more. Cloud Sire was phenomenal in match number one. Would love to kind of just do the same thing. Throw some Toxics on the board. Stall out a little bit. Waste some turns out there. But Cloud Sire was actually a perfect Pokemon for match number one, considering they led two bulky Pokemon that we didn't really have enough attack power to take out, especially because Lunala was just calm minding up. So we threw a Toxic on that, just played slow, eventually got rid of that thing. But they go Ogre Pond and... They go Ogre Pond and Tornadus, which isn't bad. I mean, we don't have Rain out here. I could throw a Heat Wave if I want to. I could Terrasalize my Chiyu. Um, I think Ramir would just honestly just throw a Toxic. Just throw Toxics. Let's just protect you this turn. Let's just protect you. Chance are they're going for an Ivy Cudgel. Look and do some damage into him. Maybe you go for a Tailwind. I would hope you do. You go for a Taunt. Oh, man. He taunted my Cloudy. Leave my Cloudy alone. Leave him alone here. Ivy Cudgel is going to fly. We do have Focus Ash, which is nice. Um, Haunting my Cloud Sire. Not cool. Not cool at all. Just go for high horsepower here and use our focus sash. Yeah, we'll go for high horsepower. We'll use our sash. We'll use our focus sash here. So we're going to sash up here. We're going for Bleak Wind Storm too. This could be bad news for us. This could be real bad news. They choose not to go for Tailwind, which is a rather smart play for them. And Heat Wave is outspeeding, which is good news. So we're going to Heat Wave up. Give me some burns. No burns. Bleak Wind Storm is going to double connect. And my Chiyu is gone. You taunted me. How dare you taunt me. How dare you taunt me? All right. So Chiyu gone. We're going to go for a high horsepower here. We're going to almost pick up KO. Almost pick up KO. All right. So from here, I think our best interest is to just play it slow with Cloud Sire. Let's be honest here. Let's go into Kyogre. Let's Terrasalize Grass. And play it slow with him. So I can Terrasalize Grass. I can go into a Surf. I doubt you're going for a Bleakman Storm this turn. That would suck if you go for a Bleak Windstorm this turn. And in, just in case you swap, we shouldn't do that. I'm just going to Terrasalize because I think you're going for Tailwind into a uh, into a Horn Leech and trying to get after my Kyogre. So we're going to Terrasalize Grass here. We kind of need to. We kind of need to. So we have Brain for a little bit. Um, hmm. Your back end Pokemon's got to be Shadow Rider. You got to have Shadow Rider in the back end. And there's the Tailwind. So Tailwind finally comes out here. We're going to pick up a double KO this turn. And they're going to have Tailwind. There's the Horn Leech. There is the Horn Leech. Alright, so Cloud Sire, I think you're done taunt after this, right? Is that a correct statement to make? Is that a correct statement to make? Cloud Sire, going to get some HP back. Surf is going to pick up the double KO, which is massive. So they pick up the double KO. Let's see what they go into. Because they got some speed now. They got some speed now. And I feel like we have to throw at least one Toxie out here. Just to kind of slow play it. We do have Vest on Arch Luna, which is great news. And Cloud Sire's Taunt is gone, which is massive. So maybe I can protect Kyogre here and try to throw some Toxie on the board. That would be in our best interest. That would definitely be in our best interest. Let's see. There's the Calyrex looking scary. You could have a Psychic move, which could just take out my Cloud Sire. And Clefairy's going to come out. But yeah, we have to throw a Toxie. We have to throw a Toxic. Instead of protecting Kyogre, I mean, you're probably going for double hitting moves. We are just going to go for a Surf here. We're just going to rip a Surf. Give me no reason not to rip a Surf. So we'll see a Terror type come out here. If it's Ghost, that is going to be tough news. Because Ghost is just going to do massive damage. And it is Ghost! Oh man, that's going to take out my Kyogre now. Real question is, are you going to follow me? I would have loved to have Chiyu focus dash right here. Helping hand. Chill. Chill. <laughs> Chill. It's not looking good for us. Astrobot is going to come out here. I feel like our only shot at winning this. I don't even think we have a shot at this. Unless Kyrie survives, but not even Cloud Sire is surviving. Wow. That's some damage. I don't know why more people don't use that. The ghost terror type with helping hand. That is absurd. 
Like, Hotside is pretty bulky. Got a lot of HP. About 240 we were sitting at. That thing just one tapped it. Yeah, we don't stand a chance here. We don't stand a chance. So, Cloud Sire losing the final match. It's tough out here. They taunted it. Didn't really get to do too much. But honestly, this Shadow Rider Calyx was just an absolute monster. So, I think the only way we could potentially win this is like. You don't go for Follow Me. You go for Helping Hand, Astro Barrage. But that's a double KO. We're not surviving this. We're not surviving. You go for Follow Me anyway, which is a smart play. And I don't think we're surviving this anyway, even without Helping Hand. Plus two. Stab. Terra Boost it. This thing's insanely strong. Bye bye, Archie. Leon. Thanks for playing. 2 1 for today's video. Level winning record. Cloud Sire prevails in today's video, grabbing us a 2 1 winning record. Now, I love this team all around. You got Kyogre, you got Tornadus, an ultimate duo right there. And furthermore, you got Arch Ludon to pair up in the rain. Cloud Sire, nice little fun off meta Pokemon. Grabbed us some wins. Cannot complain about that. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.